Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Notice to Quit, and this is a new film coming your way from writer-director Simon Hacker. This is his feature film debut, and this film focuses on Andy Singer, played by Michael Zagan from Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, who is a realtor who doesn't exactly do everything on the up and up. He got himself caught up with a group of guys that are selling stolen appliances that Andy winds up giving to them when he's selling over properties and stuff like that. And he winds up having his estranged daughter, uh, played by Casey Bella Suarez, join him for a day, the day before she's supposed to move off to Florida. And they have this rekindling through a whole bunch of craziness that goes on over the course of this afternoon. And this film is interesting because it's like shot with this vintage kind of look to it. It actually took me a little bit to think about like when exactly this is supposed to be taking place. But it is modern. They do have cell phones and stuff like that as you realize throughout the film. But there's just a great look to it. It's really well shot. Um, Micah... Altskin, who is the cinematographer for the film, really captures something interesting here. And it's dynamic, it's engaging, it looks like it really captures that sense of New York City that a lot of films try to capture, and, you know, certain filmmakers like Woody Allen really understands how to capture New York, or like the Safdie brothers capturing New York in this very gritty kind of way. This is a bit of a, like a retro look to it in terms of how it's shot and everything. I think Zagan does a great job portraying this character. I do feel like, and what's the biggest challenge of this film narratively is that Andy gets away with a lot of things. And I don't know if the film went hard enough on him. And I feel like with how much bad stuff that he does and how much of a bad father he's been, I don't think the film really gets to the point where it does enough to really sell, hey, you've been a bad guy and, you know, you have to have some comeuppance. He does certainly get some comeuppance, but, you know, I think especially the relationship with his daughter, which I do think that Suarez and Zagan do a good job together, um, as father-daughter in this, I think Suarez is really engaging and charismatic as this daughter character who's honestly just wanting to go to the zoo to see the leopards. And it's just this whole entire journey and her wanting to do this, wanting to spend time with her dad while he's trying to hustle because he's going to lose his apartment and he's trying to make money, and he's dealing with people being, well, you know, just better than him at this job, and taking a, get, getting his clients and stuff like that, uh, basically poaching his clients, and this push and pull. And, you know, you have scenes with uh, his ex-wife and his daughter's mother, played by Isabel Areza, and I think she does a really fine job in the limited screen time that she has. You have, like, a Robert Klein scene where he plays Andy's father, and they have a nice dynamic. This film really captures that spirit of New York City. It captures a specific frequency of a sense of humor, and I think it works for the film. It's just, this film feels a little too easy and clean by the time it comes to the end after all the horrible things that Andy has done whether it's you know like there's certain things that he does to other people and also specifically his approach to his daughter these things are not good and by the end I don't know if this film really commits to going this full arc for him I don't know if it really earned it 100%. But the ride to get there, still enjoyable. Nice retro feel to the look of the film and how it's shot and stuff like that. And some strong performances. But those are my thoughts on Notice to Quit. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.